Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in the garden again, and today I wanna to talk about tomatoes. So tomatoes, in my opinion, if this is a survival garden situation, they're not gonna be your best choice. They take a decent amount of space. They take a decent amount of time to give you a harvest, and the harvest that you're getting, um, calorically speaking, is not that valuable. So tomatoes in a survival garden situation, I think, are out. Other than the fact that they do kind of grow like weeds, where it's kind of hard to kill them. Um, and and uh, so with that being considered, maybe you make some space for them for palate reasons. You just want to flavor some things up. But calorically speaking, not the best for a survival garden. Uh, however, if you're just looking to grow tomatoes, I can help you because around here we eat a lot of tomatoes. We make salsas, we make uh, pasta sauces, um, sandwiches, salads, you name it. So tomatoes are big. So it is hot, 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 hot. And tomatoes start really bushing out in the heat. This is when we start paying more attention to our tomatoes. So let's first talk about the different kinds of tomatoes. There are two main types of tomatoes. They will be labeled on the seed packet or the start that you're purchasing from the store. They are indeterminate and determinate. Uh, determinate tomatoes grow to a determined size. They stay relatively small, kind of bush-like. You really don't want to trim on those because uh, they will only produce as many flowers as they were intended to produce. So if you're cutting off branches and stems that would have produced flowers, you've just lost your harvest. So with that, with that in mind, if you don't have um, proper staking or ability to trellis things up or whatever, you're probably gonna do better with a determinate variety. Those guys are also easier because you just plant them, let them grow. The only thing that you're gonna trim off is like dead pieces. Um, so that's a pretty easy start, but you're, and you get all of your tomatoes at once. That's great for if you're trying to do a bunch of canning and saucing and things like that, because you're gonna get one large harvest all at about the same time, making it easier for you to process. I grow indeterminate varieties because I grow multiple of them then I'm getting a um, like a bit of a succession harvest that's in quantities that are large enough to where I can still utilize them for canning and things like that but in smaller batches so indeterminate continues to grow so long as the season allows and that's what we're going to talk about today indeterminate so notice that uh, here on the left down here you'll notice this bush like guy hanging out and then to the right of him here you'll notice one guy that's attached to a string notice that the guy down here is significantly smaller than the guy up here why because this guy was trained up and he was trimmed in a way that he can actually be more productive because he's not trying to sustain uh, leaves. It's actually, you know, has more energy to put towards flowering and fruit. Now, how are we going to achieve this? I shall show you. Okay, so on this guy, he's flopped over. He's not nearly as big as this other guy because he's not, he's not growing in as good of a way. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach a string at the base and then we're going to attach a string to this trellis at the top and what that's going to do is allow us to train it upwards it also makes it so much easier for us to see what needs to be trimmed out and what doesn't so i'm going to go ahead and attach the string at the base and then attach it at the top and i'll give you a really good view when i'm done just one moment okay so what we did here is we came down at the base and we tied it off right below where an old branch had been cut so that way it can't be pulled up and I have a little bit it's taut but not super taut okay so you don't want it super tight because that's going to make it harder for what we're going to do uh, what we're going to do is we are going to train this and I find this to be easier in the middle of the day by the way uh, reason being is it's more pliable. So these guys are less likely to snap off. If you do it first thing in the morning after a cool night, uh, these guys are going to be much less bendy and more stiff, in which case they're more likely to snap while we're doing this. So always do this in the middle of the day. Um, I'm gently going to wrap this string around my plant. <laughs> Look at my you stay out of the way around my plant just like so it doesn't have to be you know it's not rocket science don't make yourself crazy over it you're not harming your plants okay 
So you're just gonna wrap it around the main leader, okay? That's giving us a really good visual now, so now we'll know what to do next. So I'm gonna go through and cut off anything that's trying to be a leader that I don't want to be a leader. Yes, I am sacrificing some flowers and stuff, but this guy is really low to the ground. Uh, so he's more likely to get spray back from the soil when watering. Um, and it also is going to take away from our upward movement. I want this plant to be loaded with tomatoes. So the more energy that it has to get bigger and put on more flowers, the better. These guys are what I call suckers. And this one was let to go way too far <laughs> uh, because I haven't been out here in a while um, and I hadn't had a chance to make this video like I wanted to. So now it's time to get on top of this and kind of twist this guy around a little bit better. There we go. So this will be our main leader right here. And this is going to go, all of these lower leaves are going to go. It's gonna seem a little dramatic, um, but let me just take you through that process. down here I'm gonna take off this guy we don't need him I know he seems important but I promise he's not uh, also this lower guy here get rid of that all of these lower leaves get rid of that weed <laughs> all of these lower guys this lower guy okay that all looks good this is just a set of flowers um, this guy is a sucker. So as we move up the main stem, it will branch into leaf sets. In between the leaf sets, right where the leaf set meets up with the main stem, a little guy will form right in the crotch right there. That's called a sucker. And I'm just going to pop them out. Any of the big ones, I will snip them out. So this guy right here is a large sucker and he's attached right here where this leaf meets the stem, right in the crotch area right there. So that guy needs to go. Now this plant has significantly less that it's trying to support. So watch it just take off in growth. Oh, another sucker. So that's basically the like all there is to it. Um, it wants to grow, it wants to grow like a weed. This right here, that's a sucker. He's gonna go. All these lower leaves should go because they are going to end up with diseases, mildew spots and things like that. This sucker needs to go. These lower leaves all need to go. This is a sucker that was left to get really big. This is a sucker that got really big. And yes, they do have flowers. Yes, it will produce fruit. But the plant itself, its job is to do that. Its job is not to be the most productive for you for eating purposes. Its job is to create the most seed possible. So that's why it will like sacrifice energy to put out seeds as early as possible. It doesn't know when winter is coming. It doesn't know when its season is over. We do, right? So we're just gonna tell it, hey, don't sacrifice energy. Instead, give me more growth for the season and then set your fruit when you've got all of these leaves to support you. Okay, so now we have two very well tamed, trimmed up tomato plants that are set up better for success for the rest of the season. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to add was um, what to do at the beginning of the plant's life. So let's assume that you started with seed packets. You'll sow those seed packets into your trays or whatever it is that, you're, that you are using um, to contain the root network. Um, once it's a, at least, you know, like four to six inches tall, trim off the lower leaves and repot it all the way up to just below the top set of leaves. Uh, what you're doing is anywhere that the stem meets, it's a vine, it's a vining plant. So anywhere that the stem meets soil 
it will sprout new roots. The more root network that is in place, the higher amounts of nutrients as well as water that the plant is able to take in. So plant it deeply. So you'll repot it once. And then when you go to plant it outside, you'll do that same process. Trim up all the lower leaves to the very top sets of leaves and then plant it as deep as you can. And then once it grows up even further, trim the bottom sets of leaves one more time as we've been doing here so that we keep the lower sets of leaves from ever being in contact with the soil and the soil from spraying up onto them, which opens the plant up to disease and issues of that sort but other than that just get growing because I promise it wants to grow I have grown these in containers I have grown them in ground and either way they perform very well I will say when you're doing container growing with these guys you want to be a little bit more careful on your water um, because it is raised up out of the ground it has um, and, and hopefully with proper drainage and everything it doesn't retain the moisture as well um, also that that soil tends to be a lot looser and fluffier so the root network can really get all the way up in there so it does tend to kind of almost root bind itself in a way where um, it, it will not a whole lot of soil be left so you definitely want to make sure that if you are a container growing with these guys you give them a really large container to work with because that root network will get huge the amount of water that they'll need later in the season once they're full of fruit will be substantial and you want it to be able to support the fruit um, at you know otherwise you have no fruit so with all of that being said, uh, just get growing. If you have any questions or anything like that, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Bye.